Hey there folks, my name is Dazerin and welcome to Thomas Was Alone. This is a game, it's an old game, but it's a game I have wanted to play for a very long time. And I just, I keep forgetting about it and then I remember, and by the time I remember something else happens and just, it's it's been, it's been a game I've wanted to play for a very long time and it's finally time for me to focus on it. Granted, nothing pops up and keeps me from playing anymore. So we're gonna jump right in. I don't know why it puts me on resume. I don't remember ever starting this game. I don't know if I ever did, maybe, but I don't remember. So anyway, new game. The program was a failure. People forgot this. It was a massive flop. The coder started adding name strings to the AIs as a joke. Thomas, AT23612, wasn't special. It was just an AI in the right place. Thomas Damn it. was alone. First thought to have. Movement keys, left thumbstick. Okay. And then. Oh, oh, okay. So I gotta. Oh, I see. So I gotta get into the little outline of me. I thought it was an obstacle. Okay. So. Wee. Wee. Decided to start listing his observations for posterity. Probably a good idea. One. You know? The whole alone thing. Right. Two. Portals. They led some Gotta be thinking with portals. To work out where. Three. Falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. Yeah, look at him go. He was good at falling. Ah, he jumping. At observing. Well, that's good. All right. Boop. Okay. Whoa. Interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think. <laughs> what? Think. What? what if there was some kind of inverted fall? Maybe like a jump. What's the word? Jump. Yay! Jump. Jump. It worked. Thomas <laughs> had solved the great inverted Inver fall mystery. Inverted fall mystery. I always like witty dialogue. All right. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. Right. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing uh, gently. There we go. Man, that just reminds me of, like old 8-bit days where you had to like make like really precise this movements. All seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. Uh, it was uh, unstable, uh, uh, and it seemed uh, to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not good. Oh boy, oh boy, boy. It might even be doing so on purpose. Nah. Paranoia. Yeah, just just paranoid. Nothing to worry about. Just paranoid. All right. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. Oh, the light. Like he was making progress, but light effect. There wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving oh. predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Well, you always got to move right in 2D side scrollers. That's just the rule. Actually, except Limbo, they it did do a thing where it would have you do uh, left as a yet. joke. But Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. Is this just like a giant? Designed. Just yeah. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Is this just a giant, like, uh, commentary on video game design? Because that's kind of cool. <laughs> I like that. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. What is this? Pass through respawn points to save a character's water. progress. Four. <laughs> water. Not good. Not good. To be avoided. Like old video games where if you just fell in the water, you died. Again, another commentary on uh, video game design. Oh, we're going left. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note taking could combat that. Okay, oh, we're getting there. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. We're making it. We. I like the animation on this too. Like it's it's so simple, but it's really really pretty. Boop. Oh yeah. Thomas had a Level new 10. theory. The world was training him. Yeah. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. 
over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd mm -hmm. become a pretty skilled jumper. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome at it. He was oh. evolving. He just wished he had someone to share Oh, God. It. Okay, all right. Whoa. All right, hang on, hang on. Whoop. Ah, oh, darn it. Wait, 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 wait. And... Whoop. Nope. I was waiting for it to go back up. Yeah. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, I can just hold down A. I'm playing this with a gamepad, by the way. But I can just hold down A and he'll just continuously jump. Be there or B. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told that idiot this would happen. Overlapping scripts. More than one AI was bound to spawn into an environment at some point. Turns out I've missed the point. That little error changed everything. Oh! Oh, okay, I get it. So this is okay. And deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the <laughs> hell did this Thomas think he was? Okay, so switch character. How do I switch character? Ah. Okay. Go. Yeah. Teamwork. Oh boy. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually, not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that <laughs> skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Get up. Go. Oh, jeez! <laughs> don't, don't kill me. It's okay, I can help you here, Chris. Alright, you get going. Get down there. There you go. Go, 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 go. Make it. Alright. And I'll go to my spot. And boom. Yeah! One point to, ooh, interesting. Okay, this was more like it. A glowy white, white thing. Thing. <laughs> Chris could get to it. Yeah, because I'm. Made it all the more enticing. Yeah, uh, look at me! Look at me! Haha! <laughs> new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Whoa! Come down here, Thomas. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, it's gonna take a little bit. Great, great. Oh wait, I wonder if chance for Thomas to jump nope. slightly higher than Chris. How unfortunate. Seriously. <laughs> this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Oh yeah. Okay. And boom. Yeah. We're getting this we're getting this down, no problem. None at all. No problem at all. I like this. This is awesome. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm sure he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, uh, where are we going? So slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Okay, so stay there for a second. I'm gonna jump over here. Oh, okay, so that's that's for you. All right, so I'm over here then, probably. Uh, there I go again, talking as if like somehow I'm playing like with a different character, with another person. All right. Ah! No! Must not fail jumping sections. Ha! Yeah, there we go. Awesome. I like this. It's relaxing. While also being a, a good, fun time. All right. Ah, uh, give him a hug. Friends together. A brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. Yeah. Huh. Oh, shit. Be fine. But it was all the obvious 
observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. Oh. He hoped the next portal oh, would oh. split them up. If only for a few levels. Yay! Whoop! Get over there, Chris. Okay. I'll go up here real quick. Oh, boy. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Teamwork. Work together. Get things done. Go, Chris, go. Oh, okay, he's already in spot. All right, here we go. All right. Next. Oh, okay, I was like, did it just like go away from me? Oh boy. Uh, yay! Chris, I'm here. Yay! Whoa, we got a new character? John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, crap, okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, got it. All right. Well, this would be interesting. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. All right. Where did they come from, anyway? Oh, wrong one. All right. There we go. Boom. And... Yeah, show off that big... rectangle. That boy wasn't gonna say something else. No. I don't know what you're talking about. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. How high does he jump? Whoa! Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time, to show the little how it was done. John decided oh. to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. Nice. He cared for his new allies. Yay! Becoming friends. From the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. <laughs> Damn it, Thomas! You gotta help. Gotta go help Chris. I'm here, Chris. All right, get up there. Whoop. All right. Yeah. Whoop. And whoop. All right. Go down. Drop down. And let's see where we're we going here. Woo! All right. Get in position. Get over. So Chris is just the angry one. He's just super angry because he's small. Never judge a book by its cover. All right, Thomas, go after him. All right. Nope, there we go. And... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Chris. Yeah, you can't go just yet. Oh, crap, I need John. Come here, John. There we go. All right, so Thomas first. And then we'll get Chris in there. And John. Yay! Yay! Happy times. All right, and I'm going to actually pause it here because we are at time. So that'll do it for this episode. I like this a lot. It's it's super just a relaxing, chill game. And I'm, I'm enjoying listening to just how uh, all the characters kind of react to each other. So anyway, that'll do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys will make this channel happen. And I thank you very much for that. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.